Hey everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, so we're doing a quick video here uh, just to check out that uh, performance of my system. I've actually got a RTX 4090 coming and essentially I wanted to see how my current setup is running. Just so I have a little bit of a measurement, a little bit of a baseline here. Uh, so let me get right into it. I actually want to turn down that music just a little bit because it's kind of loud. There it is. Um, so we are running a windowed 1080p on Cyberpunk 2077. We are running uh, essentially this on Ultra, right? We got DLSS turned on. DLSS is on quality. We have frame gen on. We're not running ray reconstruction. Uh, we've got, of course, all the ray tracing stuff on. It's on Ultra. Path tracing is not on. Uh, crowd density high, all this is turned on. We got motion blur turned off. Uh, contact shadows on, improved facial lighting on. So essentially everything is maxed out, ultra DLSS quality with frame gen enabled. Uh, this is a 14900KS with a RTX 4080 Super, a MSI Supreme X 4080 Super. The video card has the 450 watt BIOS on it and it's just air cooled nothing crazy going on um and we're gonna see how this thing runs if it can push it without cpu limitations here 1080p with frame gen with dlss on quality so we're gonna see how it goes all right guys so we are getting 270 frames per second right now 275 i mean take a look at that if you look at that cpu usage which is actually cut off just a little bit. I'm gonna have to back up a little bit there. There you go, you can see it now. So our CPU usage, uh, GPU usage is at 99%, 98%. Very surprising here. And I will say this is DDD, uh, DDR5 8600, case latency 36. Uh, this is a very good memory controller on this chip here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run through. The CPU is stock. It's just a stock 14900KS. The ring is at 5 gigahertz, and the memory is at 8600, case latency 36. The timings are fully tuned and all that. So it's 100% uh, stable. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all that's done to this system. And we're just seeing how it runs because when that 4090 drops, I want to see how much faster it is or if there's just CPU bottleneck, right? Uh, so we're getting, you know, easily 200 plus, 240, 250, even 270 frames per second in Cyberpunk. And this is Ultra RT, right? We're running DLSS on quality. Um, we're walking down the road here and we're getting 250 frames per second. We're going to take a quick recap at these settings real quick. So DLSS is on quality. We got frame gen on and RT is on ultra. And of course, everything else is, is turned up as well. Okay. Um, so at 1080p, as you can see here, there is no CPU bottleneck, none at all. This is all GPU driven here, uh, which tells me that this CPU is a beast <laughs> for one, um, an absolute beast. You guys like my car here? Look at that thing. Wow, looking good. You know, they put some massive tires on this thing. Like, the tires on this thing right here are crazy. Wow, looking at our car, we're getting like 280 frames. Look at that. Let's, let's look up at the sky. We're getting 347, 348, and we're still not CPU bottlenecked. We're at 98% GPU usage here. Uh, so that tells me that uh, this CPU can handle an even stronger graphics card in Cyberpunk. Now, this is... um. I will tell you a few things here. You notice that my GPU usage stays consistent. It's very important to keep your power plan right here in Windows on 
balanced, right? Because this makes sure your e cores aren't parked or anything, right? I can show you what it looks like when you park the e cores. I'm going to press my scroll lock button and you'll see all these jump to zero. Uh, so we've disabled the e cores real quick. And we're going to take a look and see how it performs. All right, so our CPU, our, our GPU usage is still being pressured up. Um, but you'll notice some hitches, right, when you turn those e cores off. Very faint. It feels smooth right now, very smooth. See that GPU usage, it just dropped to 90, 82%. Look at that, look at that right there. So you're losing performance by turning those off. Um, and that's something just to keep in mind if you do run your CPU like that. I don't run mine like that. Um, you know, definitely check the game and see what, you know, if it benefits or not. Um, we're gonna get in a crash here and see if the thing changes it. So it's smooth, right? 99% of the time, but you will see that GPU usage drop when this, I mean, look at the P cores here. These things are loaded tremendously. Just drop again. So now we're gonna turn our E cores back on. And there we go. So we've got them back on and it's much more consistent. Right, we're running 1080p, and I don't normally run 1080p. I just wanted to see because I was watching some YouTube videos of guys with 4090s um, and 4080s, and they're running 1080p, and they're not even maintaining a consistent GPU usage. Like they're running, so I'm wondering, like, why is that? Like, what's wrong with their systems? That should run smoothly. They should be able to at least maintain that 95, 96 percent GPU usage all the time. Because here's the thing, if your GPU usage falls, that's performance. If I go from 100% to 90%, that's 10% less frames that I'm gonna get, okay? Uh, so typically that happens from your CPU not being fast enough to drive those frames to just, you know, and it just, it can't process it and handle all that. So that's kind of where that CPU bottleneck comes into play. And as you can see here with a fort, a stock, 14900KS running a overclocked 4080 Super at 200 plus frames per second at 1080p. This thing absolutely kills it. Um, so let's turn the graphics settings down. Uh, we're still running our 1080p. We're going to turn, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to turn off ray tracing. I'm kind of curious to see how that looks now. We're gonna turn off ray tracing. Okay, so we're getting 300 frames per second now. And look at that GPU usage there. I mean, glorious. You could easily run a 360 hertz monitor with a 4080 Super at 1080p, even in Cyberpunk, and still maintain that 300, look at that, 320 frames per second right here. This CPU is just a mad dog. I mean, I don't understand it. Like, look at that, let's look up. 375 and we're finally hitting that limitation a little bit there, look at that. 399 frames and our CPU is just finally dropping just a little bit, but not that much, right? We're still at 88, 90%, um, 85% but we're getting over 400 frames per second. This is Cyberpunk. When you're looking this direction, you're totally good, okay? So if you need to get 400 plus FPS, you're gonna have to start overclocking that CPU, which can be done. Bear in mind, this chip is stock. So the P cores are stock, the E cores are stock. Um, when we're running around the city, we're completely utilizing and saturating our graphics card, which is how it's supposed to be. Getting 300 FPS. <laughs> um, that's pretty amazing, I think. You know, I, I just, I think that is awesome. I had to make this video because I wanted people to see how smoothly a 14900KS can run Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p. And I don't even have a 4090. I bought a 4090, so it will be here uh, this week. Um, but for now, we're just using a 4080 Super 
and just look at that. I mean, unbelievable performance right there. So 335 frames per second, <laughs> 1080p, and just, I mean, this game still looks beautiful, right? Um, looks awesome. And I'm running this in a window. If I do full screen it, it doesn't look as clear because this is a 48 inch monitor, um, but it looks much better in a window where you do lose a tiny bit there. I noticed, I saw the change in the GPU usage uh, when I run it in a window. I'm not sure why that is. I guess just cause it's like rendering my desktop as well. As you can see, my desktop is kind of rendering with this. Um, but I just wanted people to see like how far we can kind of take this and what kind of frame rates we can get out of this guy. Uh, so if your CPU, I'm sorry, if your GPU usage is dropping at all in this title and you're not getting over 400 frames per second, then there's something going on, okay? There's definitely something wrong because it shouldn't. It should stay consistent at that 90 five percent or higher all the time uh, and that's that's the case here because uh, we're getting over 300 frames per second um, this monitor is only a 120 Hertz monitor you know and I almost feel like because uh, this is a 4k monitor I almost feel like it would be better suited with a higher refresh rate now with a, a 4090 um, all right so we're gonna turn back on our Ray tracing, Hit apply, and here we go. We're back to our lower frame rate of the 200s range. My car is not in the best shape here. You know what, I'm gonna get a new car. So, I don't play Cyberpunk much. I've started playing it here recently though, I'll say that. Um, they have done a lot of updates to this game and I'm very impressed. I mean, they fixed so many things that I didn't like about it before, like the police chase you now and things like that. Um, anyways, I just wanted to show how strong this uh, 4080 Super is. Like, holy crap, 1080p Ultra, uh, ray tracing, we got DLSS quality, frame gen on, and this thing is just obliteration mode to the max, absolutely killing it. Okay, let me get out of this car. It's about to, uh, of course. As soon as I get out, I got ran over. They're supposed to stop and help me. It's supposed to be a friendly, friendly citizen, right? I want this truck right here. I'll take this truck. Oh, gosh. I accidentally shot at him. Okay. I don't want the van. Uh, I'll take the little dinky car. But, yeah, this game runs amazing. It runs really good. I can't argue how well this thing runs on a 14900KS. Uh, of course, I've got my resizable bar enabled. Um, the video card is overclocked. It's on the 450 watt BIOS, even though we don't really need that. The, the GPU power is about 280. That's how efficient these cards are. Very efficient, that RTX 4000 series. Um, Anyways, just an impressive setup, and it almost makes me think, like, and I was seriously thinking, like, do I really need to even bother with a 4090? Of course I do, but no. No, you don't. Um, this is pretty much, like, 80% of that experience, I think. I think it's 80% of the experience. Um, let's see what guns I have here.
guillotine? What is a guillotine? Nice bike. Tires look pretty round. That's cool. Usually you see that like hexagonal shape in them. But anyways, um, this this game runs phenomenal. It runs absolutely phenomenal, and I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed by this 1080p Cyberpunk frame, uh, frame gen and DLSS quality uh, getting performance like this. So if you run 1080p and you got a high refresh rate monitor, you need a 1400KS uh, and a 4080 Super. Uh, this thing is just bananas. Um, and the power, you know, it's not too crazy. As you can see, we're using about 170 watt, you know, CPU power right now. Nothing like insane. Um, I've got mine set up pretty efficient. Uh, it's actually, I'm running a fixed voltage and it is very efficient, extremely efficient. Like it idles at like 10 watts, 10 watts uh, on the desktop. Uh, so I always thought it was uh, very efficient in that in that regard. Um, so, anyways, this is a Cyberpunk 2077 on a 4080 Super and DDR5 8600 case latency 36. Um, what a amazing setup this is uh, for gaming. Like really amazing setup for gaming. We're gonna open up a few, a few things here. So if you, this is the uh, setup that I'm running. Of course, I'm running a Z790 Apex. And I am running my 14900KS. You can take a look here. CPU is just running stock. I do allow it to boost to 6.2 gigahertz in the single threads. Um, of course, it's not gonna happen in a game. And I'm running my DDR5 8600, case latency 36, um, which this is Anta 777 Extreme Stable for about what, two hours or something like that. Uh, the memory controller on this thing is a beast, okay? So uh, this chip will actually run 8600 at 1.4 volt, uh, case latency uh, 40. So 8600 like XMP timings. Let me see what that is. Uh, here we go. This is uh, a run I did when I first got this CPU. Take a look here. This is that 8600, right? And uh, we're running that, that 1.4 volts, okay? And you can see the timings are just 8600 XMP timings. And uh, no tuning at all, right? Look at that, no tuning at all. 8600 1.4 volts, and it did it like it was nothing. Uh, that's the memory controller on this thing here. Not many chips can run 8600 let alone 8600K C36. And this here, you can actually just load the profile and go, right? It doesn't have any sort of training issues. I've seen on CPUs where if you run a really high memory profile, like 8400 C36, 8600 C38, it may not be stable when you restart, or it may not pass again if you turn your PC off and back on. Uh, that's not the case. Now, I think what most of that is comes from is pushing the eye, you're just so close to the memory controller's limits that it can be inconsistent. Uh, so I think that's mostly what that's about. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to share what I'm running, what's set up. I'm running a pretty uh, good memory profile, that's it, uh, with a stock 1400KS. And it is a GPU pusher 5000. Like it's designed to push graphics cards <laughs> to the max. Um, Anyways, I hope this was helpful. The 4080 Super is very fast. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.